Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. Some clouds are blowing into the Grand Forks area. They're swiftly moving across the skyline. Not much falling from them. They're pretty high off the ground and that wind and cold air certainly is noticeable after this very warm weekend that we have just come out of 51 at Hector. It's 55 at Moorheads Airport. Sun setting tonight at 841. The wind's still gusting to almost 40 miles per hour here in the FM area. Some of the winds starting to taper off in the Devil's Lake Basin, still breezy but less gusty as your temperatures are in the mid 40s all the way across the Highway 2 corridor and points north. Down the south, low to mid 50s in our southern counties. All in all, it is a chilly evening. Babe, the blue ox says 51 is a little cool compared to the weekend. We do have clouds and showers exiting through the arrowhead of Minnesota and our cloud cover here continues across the area to swiftly move from north to south. A couple of green blips on the radar. They may reach the ground near the international border, but I would not count on it. We do have severe weather spreading across Texas, including near Frisco. Tornado warnings The Colorado Rockies seeing snow west of Denver rain in the eastern plains with strong to severe thunderstorms exiting Georgia heading into the Carolinas. We also have some stout thunderstorm activity in Illinois tonight. North winds continue this evening and after sunset they will taper off just a little bit as temperatures slowly fall through the early part of the evening and the skies start to clear just a pinch. Overnight clearing skies temperatures slip sliding away folks and it's going to be a chilly one out there. Now we'll be above freezing in our southern and southeast counties with a little bit of a breeze but anywhere to the north and to the east of Fargo below freezing again. So if you did happen to throw some plants outside, you may want to bring them in as we start out your Tuesday. It looks cold. The first half of the day, though, sunnier than today. We'll see a lot of that and less wind. We'll still have a northerly component to it, and the wind will still be 15 miles per hour, but not nearly as gusty as those we experienced today. So sunshine aplenty, but temperatures do not get much warmer than those we saw today. Low to mid 50s for most, a few higher near 60 degrees down to the South Dakota border. Now, as we head into your evening, notice an increase in clouds in the Devil's Lake Basin and a chance for some showers that overnight with falling temperatures could become a phase of precipitation that well, we'd probably rather not have. So here is a look at your forecast for May the 4th. That's right, tomorrow, May the 4th. We're in the 30s, but by 9 a.m. we're warming up to 40 degrees. Temperatures carry us back into the mid 50s once again. Less wind with a few more late day clouds in the forecast. Now look at your hour by hour forecast showing those rain showers mixing with and changing over to snow showers for some of us by our drive time on Wednesday morning. Accumulations? Nope. How much moisture? A little, a few hundredths for most. So not a soaking shower maker, but we want to make sure you're aware we'll have a taste of winter after a taste of near 90 degree weather on Saturday. Those showers will exit and the rest of your Wednesday afternoon looking pretty fair, but not quite as fair as this photo captured and snapped by Joe Adams, Southeast North Dakota. Thanks for taking the time, Joe, to upload your photo. 55 with that morning snow shower, a mixed shower uh, exiting quickly. 61, so below average on Thursday, sunny on Friday. Your weekend, including Mother's Day, unsettled, hit and miss light showers and temperatures a far cry from 85. All right. It's your mom's and day. You, I know I prefer 80, but it's okay. okay. Thanks so much. Up next on Valley News.